Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will paint a face with watercolor. We begin applying some purple for the hair and also for some of the main shadows, like so. I'm doing it on dry paper, but wherever I don't want a line to be marked, I get the paper wet with another clean brush and water so as to smudge it. I sometimes do this with the left hand so that I can work with both at the same time. And we did the pupils, like so. I know right now they look a bit strange. <laughs> the iris, very lightly for now. And we continue with some of the shades. As you see, we are doing light washing. Let's give more color, a grayish blue to the iris. I'm using a fine round brush. The upper part of the eye will be darker because of the shadow that it receives. Very good, now she's looking. <laughs> the eyebrows, and we will darken this area a little bit by the eye. I smudge and integrate it with a wet clean brush. And we can add the shadows on the lower part of the nose. Let's darken this line by the upper eyelids and then we can begin painting the lips. I'll use a reddish brown for this, like a burnt sienna with a little bit of red. I know her eyes are not looking toward the same spot. I noticed that too. Don't worry, we will fix it in a little. But now we add some color to the skin. Again, some burnt sienna with a little bit of red. And for the areas of light, some yellow. And we darken the hair in the shadows. This, as you see, is not going to be a realistic portrait. It is going to be more creative. What I mean is that we can use our artistic license to change the colors and the reality. We can create our own reality which is the magic of art. We darken the areas of the hair that are in shadow and give some color to the rest. And I feel we need a little bit more contrast, so let's add some more dark. As you can see, the watercolor, when it dries, it lightens. So you may want to apply it a little bit darker than what you intended to be in the end. And let's add some more brown to the brow. The list of materials that I am using for this project is in the information below the video. When you paint in watercolor, a key factor for success is that you use a good paper, a good watercolor paper, as it needs to absorb and hold the water. And I will darken everything from the height of the brows down to the nose. I know right now it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it will. Now I want to add some colors to the background and integrate the hair and face to it. So let's get everything wet and drop some colors. This is really fun. I left a dry square toward the top left to have something like a light over there. Now the hair will not have a sharp end against the background, but it will be very soft. This side of the nose will be in shade. You may apply the paint with the brush and if it is too much, you can easily pick up some with a tissue. Also with a brush, you can lightly scrub a wet area if you want to lighten it or to soften or erase the edge of a line. Like on the forehead, I get it wet and drop slightly to get a highlight. If you are using soft or natural brushes, you may want to switch to a harder one for the rubbing. Let's add some little tone and texture to the lip. And now let's go a little bit more wild. I want some splashes and drippings. We can leave the paper so they run. Let's do some other ones. This is so cool. All right. And now let's drop some other ones on this side. And some more. Very good. Excellent. Let's do some final ones like this. And it's ready.
If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to find out tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.